students, <laughs> students can do, students can do a lot. You saw the UAM, UAM was founded by students and actually physically changed policy that, that got access to medications. I mean, that is, the students hold undeniable power. Um, I think oftentimes we talk about, we talk about how all these things can happen and, and, and we assume other people are doing it. Um, and that's not the case. So, so other people aren't doing the, these things. So if, if you say, yes, there needs to be a shift in the paradigm of public health, you have to do it. And the only people who are going to do that and be able to do that are students who have yet to be ground in this and, and tied up in this red tape of bureaucracy that, that we oftentimes get, get to. Um, and as a student, if, if, you in, if you initiate your public health understanding and, and research on the individual and understand the relationship between public health and the individual health um, and take that approach farther down the line, then we will initially, um, we will start an initial change in this paradigm and we'll, we'll start to, to better appreciate how it, is, how, how it is that we can facilitate change in whatever given issue that we have. So to support the film itself, and if you go to the website, I think the first thing that's written on the website is we're not doing this to make a film, and, and the strength of this film is not like a financial means. So most people think that if you throw money at something, it does that. I'm going to, to meetings, and I'm going to, to meetings with decision makers, and I'm, I'm going to actually be talking with these people. And I alone, my voice alone carries very little weight. So the way in which people help um, is a number, but mainly by just con getting on, like contacting us and, and um, getting on board on our like mailing list and things. So when I speak, I speak to the power of multiple people. I speak to the power of that represents their NGO, their institution, and, and their so so one voice is multiplied by a lot. Um, so that's really the best way right now. And then and then by doing so, when we have specific and discrete things that need to be done. Um, such as if we were to launch an initiative for lung safe gold or, or things like that, or these things that we're brewing up, they will be easily and readily, readily identifiable and, and say we speak on behalf of these many people. So that's the, that's the best way to strengthen numbers.